Eden from the Clarinet Life and today I want to talk about some more practice techniques that I use to help me when I'm dealing with a difficult passage. Um, this work that I am playing is an etude. It's from uh, rows of 32 etudes right here. So let's take a look. Hey everyone, it's Medina from the Clarinet Life. That excerpt you just heard was from Rose's 32 etudes. It's a clarinet classic. We've all probably encountered it at least once in our clarinet lessons. Today, I'm gonna highlight another practice technique that I use to help me with technical facility. I do this whenever I'm approached with a difficult passage. So I'm not gonna be playing the whole rose etude for you. I'm just gonna pick a section and show you a practice technique that I call hold a note. So the practice technique that I wanna share with you today is called hold a note. And what I love about this technique is it gives me an opportunity to see how my fingers are moving interval to interval. It also gives me an opportunity to see how my finger motion works in uh, smaller groupings, and then I can add on to it. Hold a note is a great uh, technique to use in difficult passages because there's just so many multiple ways to use it. Let me show you the passage that I have chosen. So with this rose etude, um, we start off with this gesture and we see this gesture happen again, right? Uh, a section comes back. Right here we see tempo primo, right here. And I wanna look at this guy right here. Whenever I'm practicing, even if the passage might not be terribly difficult, I always glean through the music scan through it and see what passages look the most difficult. For me, um, I gravitate towards looking for the smaller divisions. Um, sometimes that requires a little bit more technical facility. Sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on the finger motion and what the notes are, right? So let's take a look and I'm gonna show you how I use hold a note and I hope that you're gonna be able to use it in your future and current practices. Okay, let me play the selected section of this rose etude. I'm gonna put the quarter note as 42, which is definitely slower than what Rose is requesting. But the reason why is I'm gonna focus on the section. So let's do that really quickly. I just want you to hear it, and then um, I'll show you how I use hold a note. In difficult passages, I want to make sure that I'm aiming for accuracy. So what we have here are what I like to call groupings of four. We have 30 second notes starting on the D natural all the way up to our A. I'm going to hold a note and the note that I'm going to hold in our groupings of four is the first of each grouping. I'm going to turn my metronome on. To quarter note equals 50. I'm going to first hold a note in the beginnings of the grouping, the first of the grouping of four, then the second of the groupings of four, the third of the groupings of four, and the fourth of the grouping of four. Let me demonstrate. Notice that when I was doing these groupings I wasn't always right on the click sometimes I was on the off beat so you do have to realize that you're not always gonna have that uh, security of being on a click however what I do like about using the metronome is it gives me that uh, boundary of time and division so don't let that throw you off Okay, if, if you notice, when I was doing it, I still kept with the metronome, even though I was on an offbeat in some of the places where I was holding the note. Now, I'm not done yet. Once you get that, 
the next thing to do is to expand the grouping. So I was talking about how the 32nd notes probably were in groupings of four. So now let's expand that to groupings of eight. So you don't have to hold every single one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What you can do is you can hold uh, the beginnings or the end. So let me demonstrate that really quickly for you. expanded my grouping but I still held the note all right everybody stay with me here I know this is getting a little lengthy but I want to do this uh, one more time um, I talked about being on and off the click well this time I'm gonna do hold the note but what I want to emphasize is the finger motion uh, we have finger motion that our fingers move up and down those are the two basic motions that we have when we play the clarinet so let me demonstrate for you that to you really quickly. Um, I'm gonna hold the note, and then I'm gonna move quickly and go to the next note. Uh, I'll show you a couple ways of how I do that, and maybe there's something that you can pick up for uh, some of the passages that you're playing with in your music. But there are multiple ways of using hold the note, so I'm gonna demonstrate that really quickly. <laughs> that as I'm expanding uh, the groupings I'm getting a little bit more and more off the click of the metronome that's gonna happen sometimes because you're shifting the rhythm so you're shifting where uh, the strong beats are being felt as opposed to uh, what is written in the passage um, let me show you really quickly how this would sound like without the metronome uh, if the metronome is throwing you off a little bit so I'm gonna do it again, but this is um, those groupings, those larger uh, groupings in terms of finger motion. Okay, so what I wanna share with you is that by approaching the section of the music this way, you're getting a greater feel for the line. So, you know, slow practicing is a big deal. It's important, but it's not the only way to practice. And by using hold a note, we have an opportunity to shift from very slow to um, faster groupings uh, within the finger motion. So you should be able to, at the end, <laughs> much easier than what you did in the past. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps out. This is a great way to approach difficult passages and I really like to isolate certain sections that um, the divisions are faster or that the passages are uh, more technical because it helps me learn the music much faster, especially uh, when you have to learn so much music in such a short period of time. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, subscribe, have a great day.